What is up guys, D-Rex here and welcome back to another video. So today, this is probably my biggest project I've ever worked on. That's why I haven't uploaded in like more than a year. But I am showing off the Minecraft Discontinued Iceberg. So this like includes all, all the bunch of removed or altered features of the game. It starts off with stuff that you'll probably know about, but as you get deeper into the berg, you'll notice things get a lot more obscure. I learned a lot while working on this video, so I hope you guys will too. Let's get into it. Also, I know icebergs are dead trend. I started this video like over a year ago. And we're kicking things off with the first tier above the berg. Alright, so like I said, most of this stuff at the top is going to be decently well known. And I'm, everybody knows about the old villages. Now, the old villages were first shown in July 1st of 2011. And they were changed in 2019 to replace the villagers with new and improved villagers. And they also gave them new structures. Super secret settings. This is another one that's also really well known. This was added in 2013 in 1.7.2. And it was just like a really random kind of thing that you could enable. It would just play a random sound and apply a weird effect over your screen. And then as of 1.9 snapshots, it was gone. They just removed it for some reason. Alright, tameable ocelots. Before the village and pillage update, you were actually able to tame ocelots by feeding them a piece of raw fish. And then they would turn into a cat. But... After the village and pillage update, you were no longer to tame ocelots, and you would just find stray cats that you could tame instead. Old chests. So these were just like the chests we know today, except they were the size of a block, and they really didn't have their own model yet. And then, in pre-release 1.8, they finally added the chest model that we all know today. Old boats. So the old boats were basically just the new boats, but without oars, and also they were dumb. They were replaced in 1.9. Enchanted Golden Apple Recipe. So, prior to 1.9, Enchanted Golden Apples had a recipe. And it was crafted by using 8 gold blocks. And it was pro actually probably removed because they added ocean monuments, which just gave you fr 8 gold blocks for free. And also, it was just insanely overpowered for, like, no reason. Alright, so 3D Anaglyph enabled the use of red and blue 3D glasses. And it was later removed in 1.13 for unknown reasons. Probably because, as far as I know, it was really underused. Like, nobody nobody played with 3D glasses. Alright, Zombie Pigment. Everybody knows about the Zombie Pigment. They were just removed in the Nether update. And they were replaced by the Zombified Piglin. This one is really hard to miss. It was whenever they changed every texture in the whole game. Like, the only way you could possibly miss this is if you were, like, blind or something. But basically, before 1.14, all the textures were different. And then after 1.14, they updated all the textures in the game. And honest, at first, it was a really controversial change. But I think people finally warmed up to it. I think it looks pretty nice. Alright. Old fish. Before the update aquatic, the fish looked like this and i i'm gonna be honest i actually like this fish a lot more probably just for nostalgic purposes old hurt sound <coughs> the old hurt sound it was iconic it was perfect but they removed it because obviously the voice was a male and mojang was like well hold on guys girls play this game too and so they changed it they just changed it to the stupid click Roses, so before 1.8 they got roses, but then after 1.8 they replaced them with these poppies and it's 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 really just another flower with a different texture, but I like roses. I like them a lot actually Achievements now achievements were officially added in 1.5 and they would basically just urge the player to do something after they kill the ender dragon and uh, Like for example jumping off a cliff while riding a pig that was an achievement and they were removed in 1.12 and replaced with advancement. Adva advancements are basically the exact same thing, <laughs> except they just changed the name. Oh, we made it to the second tier. 
And the first one of the second tier is Rubies. This is also pretty well known, but it's still pretty cool. On May 21st of 2012, Jeb was like, hold on guys. I gotta tweet out this image of me trading with these villagers. And in the image, you could see he was trading Rubies. Eventually, these were replaced with Emeralds because one of their colorblind employees couldn't tell the difference between Rubies and Redstone. So they just, they just had to replace it. Old wool colors. So back in the Minecraft classic days, there were actually 16 different colors of wools. But unfortunately, one of these was removed and like half of them were changed, which is kind of a shame. Because I actually, I like these old wool colors. I think they actually look kind of nice. The original lapis and iron blocks. So the original iron block just looked like all the other blocks of whatever. <laughs> the old lapis block just looks like the new one. But it looks kind of ugly, not gonna lie. It's missing, like, the outline thing. Alright, old crying obsidian. Now, this looks just like normal obsidian, but the thing is, it's crying. It got, it has, like, tears running down its face. It's kind of sad. But Jeb said that this was basically a way to set your spawn, but before they were bed. So, this is a waypoint before the bed. And then it was removed whenever they added beds. And interestingly enough, in 1.16, they added Crying Obsidian back, and it's used to make another waypoint. How cool is that? Old horses. The old horses were used up until 1.13, and the difference between the new horse and the old horse is that the old horse had legs that were, like, cool. And because I thought this entry was kind of dumb, here's a bonus fact. In the April Fool's update... 2.0 they actually added horses before they actually added horses this update came out when did this update come out this update i don't know when this update came out april 1st 2013 old commands now as we all know minecraft hates things that are convenient so before 1.13 you would just be able to type out slash game mode c but after 1.13 you'd actually have to type out slash game mode creative Tame parrots with cookies. So in Minecraft 17W14A, parrots were tameable by feeding them cookies. And then a random redditor told Mojang, if you feed parrots cookies in real life, they'll die. So Mojang replaced cookies with seeds. And now to tame a parrot, you gotta give them seeds. Now I can't imagine, like I really hope no parrots died because of this. I mean, I doubt it, but you never know. Old water physics. These could be used as a freaking weapon. By breaking one block, you could flood your whole entire world. But Notch was told within six days, and, like, why would you do this? Your water is broken. And so on May 24th, 2009, he removed the water physics and replaced them with the water physics we know today, which are, aren't broken. Old leather armor. Now this was just the normal leather armor that we have today, except without the overlay. So it basically just looked like all the other armor, except brown. I, used, I Whenever I first started playing the game, I actually thought it was wooden armor. I was kind of dumb. Water evaporating on magma. Now think about it for a second. What happens whenever you put water on magma? You get the bubbles that suck you down. But back then, if you put water on magma, it would just evaporate. But then 1.13 came out and they're like, hold on guys, we got to make it to where instead of evaporating because this ma these magma blocks are going to spawn underwater, we'll just have it suck you down. And so that's what they did. The brick pyramid, this is a weird one. So the brick pyramid was a structure that was added to Minecraft Infdev on February 27th, 2010. And it was exactly as it sounds, basically, it was just a giant brick pyramid. That was 63 by 63 blocks tall and wide. It was completely useless, and it was removed exactly a month later. Zombie pigmen dropping cooked pork chops. So, whenever zombie pigmen were first added, they dropped cooked pork chops. Like I said, Mojang hates it whenever things are convenient. Old shulker box colors. So, for a few snapshots in 1.11, shulker box had different colors. It's actually kind of, they were just basically... The same colors we have today, except really dull and kind of gross looking. The Farlands. Everybody knows the Farlands. Everybody knows them. 
Basically, in Minecraft Java, if you traveled 12 million blocks in any direction, you'd find this giant mass of just, just corrupted terrain. It became sort of a legend in the community, but unfortunately, it was removed. However, it's still actually accessible in Bedrock Edition. And that is the second tier. We're on to the third tier underwater. Snapshot trees. Let me tell you something about snapshot trees. So, because acacia and dark oak trees didn't get their own wood type until 1.7, in the snapshots for 1.7, they just used uh, already existing wood. So you'd get these weird acacia trees with the jungle wood and these weird dark oak trees with spruce wood. So for a very small window there, there are these really funky trees. Horse armor recipe. So in a snapshot for 1.6, horse armor actually used to have its own recipe. And it could be crafted by using six of any material and a piece of wool. The old endermite. So before endermite had its own model, it actually shared a model with the silverfish. And I, it was just basically just purple silverfish. It actually looked kind of cool, and I, I like it. I like it. And then six weeks later, in the 1.8 snapshot 14W17A, Endermites were finally given their own model. The original stained glass. Yet again, this is another feature that was actually in the Minecraft April Fools update 2.0, but it did eventually make it into the actual game. So, interestingly, for a couple snapshots, it actually had the same texture as it did in Minecraft 2.0. So it looked kind of like normal glass, but colored. Horse saddles. For some reason, I think this one is actually really cool, but it's not that cool. So this was an item that was crafted by five leather and three iron. And it, it would work just like normal saddles, but it was only for horses. And uh, then they're like, well, hold on, guys. What if... We just used saddles because you could also ride pigs. Pretty smart, actually. The old beacons. There was a lot of old beacon designs before we got the one we know today. So first, the original beacon was literally just like a diamond block. It was just the outline of a diamond block. And it, it shot its beam. And then the second beacon was actually really freaking cool. Look at this thing. It, it kind of looks like an end crystal inside of a glass cage. Then the third beacon is kind of a downgrade, not gonna lie. It's just like the end crystal one, but it doesn't have the end crystal. And also they brought back this kind of cool diamond, diamond outline looking thing. And then finally, we finally got the current beacon that we have today. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I like the second beacon more. Mobs dropping feathers for some reason in indev 0.30 all mobs would just drop feathers for like no reason no real reason they would not just was like I, I think i'm gonna make all these mobs drop feathers but then in february of 2010 he changed his mind and now mobs actually have their own respected drops except zombies for some reason they still dropped feathers old enchanting table design the first one kind of gave us this traditional cobblestone looking thing that they use on the furnace and the dropper and all that but it did have its diamond outlines in the book of course and then they decided let's put that nice red cloth on top you know and then they're just like well hold on let's just make it obsidian and then they did the quiver so before notch rain minecraft he had this game called legend of the chamber it was an rpg and it was in this game that the quiver originated. There was an item called the quiver, and it was used for storing arrows. And uh, it was added to Minecraft whenever you finally got around to making Minecraft, but it never had a function, so it was just sitting there in the game files for a super long time, even after it was removed. It was just sitting there, and for that reason, it's actually really well known. But on June 30th of 2015, Dinnerbone tweeted a image of a 1.9 build that included the quiver in the inventory and a slot for tipped arrows now this never made it into the final game nobody knows what happened to the quiver and the build was never even released i actually remember seeing this image and thinking it was so cool 
and then 1.9 comes out. I'm like, what the heck? Where's the quiver? The old end portal texture. So whenever the end portal was being developed, it had this really weird, kind of ugly texture um, before it was finished. You can see right here, you know, it had this really weird blue, almost kind of icy texture. Colored shields. So in the snapshots for 1.9, rather than having one shield that you could die with banners, they had a bunch of different shields. And these shields each had their own color. And they were crafted using three wool, three planks, and one iron ingot. It's kind of weird, and I'm really glad they changed that. <laughs> Alright, we have made it to the next layer of the berg, the deep waters. So on Minecraft Survival Test 0 0.24, the hand was just this flat thing. I mean, what is there really to say about it? It's just a ugly, flat hand. It's probably a good thing not to change it. The Steve slash human NPC. So in 2009, Notch added life to Minecraft by pressing G and you could spawn this this dude, you could spawn the Steve NPC and they would kind of just run around. They never had any proper AI so they were really stupid and they would usually get caught in corners. They were eventually changed in March of 2010 and now they would just run around and explore but if you came in contact with one they would probably try to kill you. Then in Java Beta 1.2, they were uh, removed along with some of their AI. Not all of it, just some of their AI was removed. And then it took another three years to remove the rest of it in a 1.8 snapshot. It's actually a really fun mob, and if I could bring back one mob of the past, I'd probably consider this one. The Old End. So the Old End was basically just the end before 1.9. It had no real limits to how many pillars would spawn. I've counted up to like 26 pillars on one island. And they didn't spawn in that circle pattern that they do now. And also, the portal structure that would spawn at, like as soon as you enter the end, it, it just wasn't there until you defeated the Ender Dragon. Pillager Revision 2. This is a cool one. So, the Pillager Revision 2 is one of the old designs for the Pillager where he wore an open jacket and an eye patch like a pirate. He looked actually really cool. But unfortunately, the design was discontinued sometime between 2017 and 2018. And now he looks like how we know the Pillager today. The Monolith. This is a really cool one. I like this one a lot. So, the Monolith were these glitched areas of terrain. It looked almost like the Far Lands, but up instead of like horizontal. But they were basically just these ginormous land masses that would go up to the height limit, creating this huge plateau. And beneath these ginormous generations were just a giant pool of water. Like basically where the land would be, they just had water there all the way down to bedrock. And this was removed in in-depth. They used to spawn naturally, but it was removed. However, before 1.13, you were actually able to get them by making a custom world and setting the biome scale weight into the negative values. The original pigmen. So on October 25th, 2010, some random guy called Mickley, I think Mike Michael. <laughs> I have no I have no idea how to pronounce the name. I'm just gonna say Michael, because I think that's how or Mike Lee, I don't know. But they told Notch they should add Pikmin as villagers. And Notch actually really liked that idea, and so they did. And they gave this dude a bacon cape, which is really cool. But uh, the texture stayed in the game until 1.6. And the, on September 28th, 2019, guess what? Piglins were showed off, and they evolved from the original Pigmen. And also, something else that kind of sucks is the guy's cape was removed because people kept on asking for capes. Also, according to his Twitter, he's a rapper now. So, good for him. <laughs> dirt slabs. So, the story goes, Notch made dirt slabs, but they're super glitchy and he really hated them. So, he removed them. Funny enough, later they actually added stone slabs, so it's not too far off from real Minecraft these days. Winter mode. This is a fun one. 
So winter mode was added in alpha version 1.0.4 and it was just like a normal alpha world but it was just completely covered in snow and it only had a 25% chance of being loaded as a winter mode world so it was kind of rare and this also decreased the spawning rate of passive mobs and reeds were a lot harder to find because water was ice. Gears. So gears was redstone before redstone was added. They could be placed up on the floors, on the walls, they could be placed anywhere. It's the greatest. But then, unfortunately, in 1.0, gears were removed. In dev house. So the in dev house was a basic seven block by a four block tall structure made out of mossy cobblestone or stone and oak planks and it included two torches it was used as a basic survival test and inside the house there are two chests with a bunch of super overpowered loot in them and in a way the end of house is actually still in the game because it evolved into the mob dungeon fish barrel now the fish barrel was a variety of the barrel block that had the same textures of the barrel on all sides except for the top on the top you could see a bunch of fish sticking out and i actually really like this block and i asked joppa who is one of the lead designers of minecraft i asked him on twitter i'm like hey whatever happened to the fish barrel that was like a cool and he's just like well you see the fish barrel was only the first version of the barrel and they were probably going to change it later down the line and it was basically just used for fish at the time you know you couldn't really put anything else in the fish barrel so they wanted it to be more usable and there's your answer of why the fish barrel was removed kind of sad i like the fish barrel old end city ships so the old end city ships were basically just like the normal end city ships we have today except in the first iteration they had a beacon which is kind of interesting there, there was a beacon that gave you speed as the, its status effect and then after that in a later snapshot it had instead of a beacon it was replaced by a pumpkin and then in the next snapshot it was replaced by a hopper and inside of the hopper there was this book that said it was written by surge but it, it just was titled work in progress and it read we will have something else here soon and then finally the elytra made its appearance in the last snapshot of 2015 removed music so we all know there's com one two and three but has anybody ever told you about com four com four was added in version 1.1.1 and literally not even a full day later it was removed in version 1.1.2 for seemingly no good reason it was actually a pretty cool song but honestly i can't really see it working in the game so i'm kind of glad it was removed take a listen Classic planks. So back in the day, in the classic days, uh, much like the old wool, they actually had classic planks as well. As well. And uh, these two planks kind of looked like really desaturated versions of the oak plank. And then later, it was replaced by a plank that kind of looked more like the birch plank. And then finally, in May of 2009, we got the first iteration of the oak planks that we know today. The glass pillar. Much like the brick pyramid, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a giant maximum height tall glass pillar. Like it was just a glass pillar. But it's not just any glass pillar because this glass pillar indicated there was a stronghold directly underneath. And it was added in beta 1.9.3 or pre-release 3. And then in pre-release 4, Eyes of the Ender had its function added and glass pillars were removed. And I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure glass pillars might have actually been added completely by accident. As like a kind of a test feature, but they just kind of forgot to remove it. 
level 50 enchantment so we all know that the maximum enchantment level you could get is level 30 and it'll just give you a bunch of different enchantments but back in may of 2012 there was actually level 50 enchantments we could go and blow 50 freaking levels of experience on enchanting and it was extremely rare like really rare but after 12 w22a the maximum enchantment was reduced to level 30 because of how overpowered it was the obsidian wall again with these really weird classic features the obsidian wall was actually an inf dev feature that was just a ginormous structure that ran all all the way along the x and z axis coordinates of zero now these were soon removed only somewhere around a month later the sky dimension so the sky dimension was this magical dimension that you would get to by just sleeping and sometimes it's almost like a dream and sometimes you would end up in this dimension but here's the thing it was never actually released to the public but we know it was in developer builds at some point and this dimension was replaced by the end all right we have made it to the bottom of the berg if you're still there this is probably gonna be a long video i'm assuming maybe not though I don't know, we'll see. Plated armor. So plated armor was actually the first ever armor set added to Minecraft. And it was added in 0.24 survival test. It was really boring. And it was pretty much for aesthetic reasons, I guess. Maybe it was to test the armor. But it literally had no function. Like it, it, like mobs would spawn with it. But other than that, it just like had zero function whatsoever. Control time with F6 and F7. This is actually a really useful one, and I wish it was still in the game. But basically, in beta 1.8 pre-releases, you are actually able to change the time by holding down F6 or F7. F6 would make it go forwards, and F7 would make time go backwards. This was most likely a feature added for testing purposes, and that's why it was removed. Enderman with green eyes. Now, I'm pretty sure this is also kind of a well-known one, but it's still really cool. So, <laughs> the first appearance of the Enderman was in pre-release 1.8. And strangely, this Enderman was depicted by having green eyes in black particles rather than purple eyes and purple particles. Soon after, in pre-release 2, this Enderman's appearance changed. Old spider texture. Alright, so in Java Edition Classic, 0.26 survival test, <laughs> that's a mouthful. The spider texture was very much different. As you can see here, it's brown with black eyes, which is kind of gross looking, and I'm kind of glad they changed it. Inventory stats. So at one point, the inventory actually had stats where the crafting system would be. And this is actually, really, it, it would show stuff like... Uh, the attack, the defense, and the speed. It's actually kind of cool. And it would even have the player's name. Old chain armor. So whenever plate armor was added, chain armor was actually also added. And this early chain armor is noticeably taller. You can see it has like a taller chest plate. And it also did not include leggings and boots for some reason. It was just the helmet and the chest plate. Multi-textured clocks. In 1.2, clocks actually had two textures, one being the clock itself, the other being the daylight cycle. But then in 1.5, they added this new animated texture feature where it had uh, a kind of like a page of frames, and they made one for the clock. How convenient. Now the clock only has one texture. Texture packs. I know what you're thinking. Let me explain. Texture packs are still in the game just in a different way so apparently texture packs were replaced by resource packs which are different so resource packs are just like texture packs but it changes more than just textures you know you could kind of change the language you could change what certain things say there's a bunch of different things you could do with resource packs whenever texture packs are literally just specifically for textures and they are not supported in the game anymore spawning portals with f4 
for exactly one update, nether portals were actually able to be spawned by pressing F4, but this feature was removed in 1.2.2a, and it was most likely another testing feature. Old turtle design. So old turtle design was shown at Minecon of 2017. Yeah, another instance where Minecon looks different than the actual game. And this design was almost the same, but it had dark bluish green scutes that were much bigger, as you can see. The early phantom designs. So the early phantom had many different designs that were shown off during its development. Uh, now the first design was actually just straight up a placeholder. They never really intended it to be in the game at any point. But then the next design looked similar to the first design, except as you could see, it had much more detail and it had these striking green eyes. Now the third possible candidate for the Phantom was this kind of weird looking thing. It had like a bunch of shells all over it. It's kind of cool, but they changed it to have the design we know today and then also there is this concept of a red phantom but they never really decided to add it because they thought it looked more like a nether mob which honestly i wouldn't mind if the phantom was only in the nether all right buckle your seat belts because we have made it beneath the berg so the old creepers this was when Notch was working on the pig and he messed up. You can see this conversation he had with a username unknown X. He says, oh man, I think I failed at making the pig. And then the guy's like, okay, pig sword didn't happen. And Notch says that the mob doesn't have a texture yet. And that's why it looks like this. I just really wanted to use that sound effect. But anyway. He says, I think, I'll, I think I'll keep it in just for a creepy creature. And that creepy creature, whenever he gave it a texture, became the creeper. Look at those jerks just jumping around. Make me sick. But then, whenever he brightened it in, when, after he made it brighter, then it blended in with the, the alpha grass. And it's very similar to the creeper we have today. Then he added feet. Then he got a creeper. Alternate sandstone textures. So originally, there are two different sandstone textures. This first one has four smaller squares on it. And in each of the squares, it has a symbol. This this first symbol right here. This is definitely supposed to be the player. And then the creeper next, obviously. And bottom left is maybe an eye, it looks like. And bottom right, it's just a square. And then the next design for the sandstone block had... It's like the shape of a diamond, but it's striped. I don't really know what that's supposed to be. But yeah, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Single layer slime. It's pretty self-explanatory. Originally, the slime just had one layer instead of two. Kind of weird. Original ghast spawn. So whenever ghasts were being tested and developed in 1.2, for some reason... <laughs> They thought it'd be a good idea to have them spawn next to the nether portal. And it was just a huge mess. They would destroy everything in the overworld. So they decided, hey, let's just, let's just make them spawn in the nether. The pre-release wolf. So the first ever revision of the wolf looked like this. It had one cube for the body instead of two as we know today. And it had, it was like more brown rather than gray and then in the next pre-release it looked like this it still had kind of some brownish grayish fur on him but for the most part he looks exactly the same as today fluff.png so fluff.png was the texture for the clouds in minecraft indev it's pretty much all there is to it now the clouds are just basically completely white Tame rabbits with golden carrots and dandelions. So, for some reason, in uh, the Minecraft 1.8 snapshots, they decided, hey, let's make it to where you can tame rabbits. They had this planned from the start. So, 
you were able to tame them with a golden carrot in the dandelion. And that, that was only in the game for like one snapshot. They, it was basically like having another dog, except instead of a dog, it was a rabbit. It was like a third pet, you know? But for some reason, they removed it, and I don't, I don't know why. This, I remember hearing about it, and I was really excited, and then it just, like, you couldn't do it. I mean, it makes sense, too. You know, rabbits are pets in real life, so. The old jungle trees. For a very short time, whenever jungle trees were being developed, they actually looked like this. You could see it's... A tree that uses spruce wood and for some reason they're very triangular and then shortly after they're changed to the jungle trees we know today old spawn eggs so as we all know spawn eggs correspond to the color of the mob that's kind of how you know which one is which you know if you don't want to read it you could just look at the color and be like oh this is probably a villager but, whenever the first 20 spawn eggs were added, they actually looked like this. They had no resemblance to the mob, and they are just completely random colors. But then, shortly after, they were changed to the spawn eggs that we know and love today. Oh, well, I don't really love spawn eggs, but I know them. In-dev map shapes. So, in the old in-dev versions, you were actually able to choose what shape you want your world to be. A small world? would be 256 by 256 a large world would be 512 by 256 and a huge world would be 1024 by 256 it's pretty big but then this feature was completely scrapped with the inclusion of infinite worlds hey guys editing d-rex here i just wanted to say we're moving to the seventh tier the abyss wow the old zombie pigmen now the old zombie pigmen Look just like the current zombie pigmen, except these ones are covered in blood. Oh my gosh. And uh, Notch changed this because he's he decided he wants the game to be scary without having common tropes like blood, obviously. Old Hoglin texture. So, whenever the nether update was announced in Minecon of 2019, there was a new mob. And this new mob was the Hoglin. Except, the Hoglin looked like this. Now, I don't know about you, but I think these colors are really gross. And I feel like a lot of other people did too. And I guess they noticed this and they changed the Hoglin texture, which is really good. The old killer bunny textures. So, the first one was just like a normal bunny. But his face was all covered in blood. Oh my gosh. Then the next one is just like the first one. Except its hands were all though covered in blood. Then Notch was like, hold on guys, remember, no blood, no blood. So he just changed it to this, except for some reason it had some really noticeable lips. And I don't know why. And then he's like, well, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that that much. And so he kind of mixed this one with this one and made this one. Which this is the one that we currently have today. Pretty neat. In older versions of Minecraft InDev, there are two mysterious textures, and whenever they were modeled, this is what they looked like. A chair, and the other one, it wasn't so clear, but people think it was a table. And so, it's apparently we were at one point going to have chairs and tables, but for some reason they scrapped it. And they didn't even ever mention it again, they, they kind of just threw it in the game and didn't say anything. The early B design. So the early B design was like, for some reason, really sinister looking compared to the B we have today. Look at this dude. Also, he has solid color wings, which is something I noticed. Colored wood. So, before they had terracotta, this is what they had in mind. They had in mind colored wood, as you can see right here. It's just basically another colorful block. But then, Dinnerbone said... Well, hold on, guys. I got a better idea. And then they added terracotta. But, I'm not gonna lie, I actually, I like colored wood. Look at this. I think it looks kind of nice. I wish it was still in the game, but I don't really know how it would work. So, we got terracotta instead. Strider fin. So, for some reason, in one of the snapshots for 1.16, this was found in the textures, and it was 
the texture for the strider fin this is what it hypothetically could have looked like pretty cool world themes now during minecraft in dev there are four different world themes and all four would spawn you on an island the first world theme was just kind of a normal um uh, just a normal world you know there's nothing special about it other than it completely surrounded by water now the second world theme was literally hell like that's it's that's what it's called it's just called hell and then the third one was quite the opposite of hell it was paradise and now this one it looks exactly like the default one this is the default one and this is paradise except the thing with paradise there's no mobs would spawn. You got it all to yourself. Also, I forgot to mention this, but in hell, all mobs would spawn. Every time of the day, they would come and get you. And then the last world theme is the woods. Now, the, in the woods, it's much darker. And as you can see, the whole island is just covered in trees. And that's the woods. The giant's AI. So prior to 1.8, the giant actually had AI meaning rather than just standing around and kind of being brain dead it would actually in fact try and murder you and you know it's kind of a shame they removed the ai because they were a really interesting mob for its time and i mean they still are you know it's kind of just a mystery why they're even still in the game they don't do anything they just stand there crystallized honey now crystallized honey this is a weird one in 2019, within the game files, there was a texture, and it was just called Crystallized Honey. It's really unknown what the purpose of this texture was, but people speculate and say it might have been removed because uh, it could have been some sort of old honeycomb. You know, they just replaced it with honeycomb or something like that. Also, along with the removal of the crystallized honey, they also removed the beeswax. Old minecarts. Now, the old minecarts were very similar to the minecarts we have today. However, rather than being able to ride in them, you could right-click them, and it opens up like a chest. The minecart would actually open like a chest, and you were able to put stuff inside of it. And the more things you put in it, the more it would fill up. And that's why... There's that really weird brown texture down at the bottom. You can see here, this is that brown texture that's for some reason at the bottom of the minecart. Or it was there for the longest time. I'm actually not sure if it's still there. But that's a leftover from the previous version of the minecart. And that concludes the seventh tier. And we are finally on to the long awaited eighth tier, the unknown. All references to Notch. I know, it's crazy. So, Notch is a pretty controversial person. Most people know this. So, Mojang, or no, Microsoft, not Mojang. Mojang didn't care. Microsoft was like, hold on guys, I hate you Notch, and this is our game now. So they removed every reference there ever was to Notch within the game files, except I'm pretty sure there are still some credits somewhere within the files. It's pretty messed up and sad that this dude made a game, and it's the one who made it super popular. And then the second he sells it, they immediately remove his name from the game. Like, I see where they're coming from. He does have a pretty bad reputation, but jeez. Early Strider Design. So, as you could see, this is the first Strider concept and it looks like a beetle and you still were able to ride these dudes even whenever they did look like a beetle and they were nasty look at this thing and then the next strider design looked more like this strider but it also kind of looked like a ghast like hear me out this is this looks like a ghast you know it's just red and sleeping kind of weird it looks like an old person and then they finally changed the strider to the one that we all know and love today the old ravager this is a weird one so the original ravager looked like this oh my gosh it's so scary looking it even had your bright eyes it was so tall it's so massive i don't know how anything would climb on top of this to ride it but you could see it had the head of a villager 
but the body of I don't even know what this thing is the body of a ravager an old ravager the ice desert this is a weird one so back in the early days in the files there was code for a biome that was never actually in the game this biome was the ice desert as you can see it's just a desert with sand but it's all covered in snow and everywhere there would be water it was just completely frozen just like the tundra they have the ice plains this is the ice desert pretty interesting md3 models this one is so weird and so creepy everybody knows rana and steve and black steve and beast boy oh those md3 models everybody knows them but what people don't know about are these there's this very mysterious kind of creepy video of these really bizarre looking models running around in somebody's Minecraft world. This looks like a creepy pasta. It doesn't even look real. But at one point, this was in the game and it was used as a test to see what they could really get away with, I guess. So, um, yeah, that was MD3 models. Very strange. The White Dragon. This is a good one. So, in 2011, whenever the Ender Dragon was first being developed, Notch didn't have a texture for the guy yet. So this was what he used, temporarily. You can see, even the model is kind of different with the wings, I think. But, and also he didn't have feet or hands. And his neck is also very curved, and so is the tail. And, noticeably, it was completely white. And then Notch was like, hold on guys. Now I made it a bunch of different colors, and I textured it a little bit. Now this one isn't a white dragon, it's just a green and yellow one. And then, finally, Notch textured the dragon. The early Ender Dragon was completely white, but then Notch changed it to be black and purple. This was most likely just temporary. And that is the iceberg oh my gosh i'm really relieved i finally finished this uh this took a very long time to make kind of just because i'm lazy i didn't really feel like recording for a while but i finally got around to it so if you enjoyed the video please i would appreciate it a lot if you left a like or just let me know down in the comments um and I really hope you guys did enjoy the video and learned something new. This is probably the biggest project I've done in like a super long time. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.